Hey guys, it's Joby and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. <laughs> Hope you all are having a fantastic Tuesday. I want to talk and talk to y'all about Claudia Jordan being accused of helping Gary Owen lose his wife. Okay, lose his life, lose his wife. Everybody losing their wife. I don't understand what the fuck is happening. Listen. But before we begin, please don't forget to like this video, okay? Like it now, like it later, just like the video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, all right? I'm Jovi Beauty. I'm Jovi Beauty on all platforms, so please follow, subscribe. I'm funny, I guess. People tell me I'm funny. I'm being dead ass serious. I don't understand. I don't know what's wrong with y'all. Y'all have some weird takes on what is funny, child. But I love you or whatever. Let's get on with the damn show. <laughs> y'all enjoy our new in, uh intro me and the guy work tirelessly okay and for some reason youtube is a hater and they would not let me use the welcome back cotter theme song the fuck anyway um so look we i got this article pulled up i got the article pulled up and i have um claudia jordan's response pulled up and ready to go so let's do it baby Gary Owen's wife, Kenya Duke, speaks out about divorce and mentions Claudia Jordan. Listen, listen, if a bitch mention you in her divorce, bitch, you done did some shit. I don't give a fuck what she wanted to tell us. She messy. But okay. Another Hollywood couple is calling it quit. We previously reported that comedian Gary Owens and wife Kenya Duke have decided to part ways after 18 years of marriage. Oh my God. Owens is known for his jokes about being in an interracial relationship as well as his love for black women. As while he often speaks out on pop culture, Owens has remained quiet about his personal life. Kenya, on the other hand, spread a puzzling post where she accused her strained husband of being unfaithful, but it was her in inclusion of Fox soul host and actress Claudia Jordan that confused the public. Confused? Why y'all niggas confused? The lady said... What she said. <laughs> anyway, let's continue. Me and Mr. Belvedere, if you worked any of the bars at the party, you already know. Gary Owens comedy, so many stories, so little time. That's what she wrote down here. Then she wrote, uh, tried to be quiet out of respect for my kids, but Claudia Jordan had me on one, on one this morning, wrote Kenya. 23 years together. Okay. 23 years, child. Gary didn't have shit but a raggedy pickup and good credit. It's a white boy's boy. He got the white boy credit. It was just an automatic, child. You know, they automatically come out the womb with 700, child. Anyway, that was a joke. Please don't come for me. Anyway, um, no place to live. Dallas, Texas. Your old ass should know better. Married, not separated. Ooh. Married. Gary Owens. Uh, she tagged him. You know when the motherfucker tag you in, they not playing with you, okay? All that energy you spent lying, acting and creating a fake narrative for these bees that want to be me. <laughs> Bitch. She probably had, it was probably a whole bunch of black women up underneath her husband's face and he fucking playing into it. He should get punched in the throat. You see what happened? Men, don't fuck up your lives behind some, listen. If Derek Jackson has taught y'all niggas nothing, don't fuck up your happy homes behind these hoes. Sorry. Let's continue. Um, where, where are we? Uh, energy spent lying, creating a fake narrative for these bees that want to be me. You could have done it with a veggie burger and a glass of fake filtered water. That's a bl angry black woman right there, boy. Me, I'm, I have to turn the volume off. That is an angry black woman right there. 
People have taken to social media to decipher Kenya's caption, but it seems that there may be information that she purposely keep in secret in entangled language. She made sure to add a few more thoughts while clarifying that Claudia Jordan is not the other woman, but it may be the talk show host friends. White women are not involved. Not Claudia. Claudia. <laughs> This lady, I love her. I love her. I love her. I love her. Okay, okay, Kenya. Okay, okay, sis. Kenya said, hashtag, white women are not involved. It's not the white women coming for her man. It's black bitches, okay? Hashtag is not Claudia. Claudia, we ain't saying you was fucking a man. We saying you putting her man onto the pussy. Don't play, bitch. Uh, hashtag, Claudia's friends. She tagged you in, hope. She done tagged you in. Hashtag dragging me back to 98th slash MacArthur street mindset. I'm about to fuck you up like I'm still in the hood, ho. That's what she said. That's what she said. She said, I'm about to beat you. Don't let me catch you on Rodeo, ho. That's what she said. Don't let me catch you on Rodeo, ho. Anyway. I worked so hard and come so far, Kenya continues. I bought a package of five therapy lessons, but don't start until the 29th. So I'm ready. She didn't, she didn't say I'm ready. I'm saying, so I'm ready. That's what she's saying. I just had to add it in because she didn't add it in. Okay. Gary ain't say shit. He ain't saying nothing. Okay. Listen, this shit is saucy, child. Okay. Hold up. Remove. Now we got to add what Claudia said, child. Let's do it, sis. Mm. Child, what y'all thinking about this shit? Hold up. Let me pull it up. Let me pull it up. Here we go. The Shade Room. Shout out to the Shade Room for posting it, child. You know, we appreciate it because we don't like digging in people's personal business over here. But if it's online, you know, I'm here for it. Anyway, so the Shade Room. Where the fuck is this? Where's her post? It was just here. I was just looking at it. Oh no, I was there. I was look I was down looking for something else. Okay, here she go. Here she go. Mistress. Which y'all y'all love doing that to me. I've never been a mistress in my life. Um, but that's a narrative that's easy to put on someone like me. So let me just say for the one hundred thousandth time, no. Nor do I approve of that. Um the I guess the story is that I somehow the, the that he cheated and the woman is my friend. First of all, in my 20 years of knowing him, um, not one of my friends have ever told me or have, ever hope, or have ever implied that they have messed with this man. Never. And just so you know, I've been around girls before that may have done some shicey stuff, and I speak on it. I don't approve of it. I'm not cool with it. Now, y'all want to make me into this monster? That's on y'all. But I'm a one... I'm a one man woman. <laughs> and um She didn't say you was the hoe. She said you, you she said you part you partake in the slutness Which out of your friends. Yeah, love. Doing you that you don't me. you don't check your friends when they life. fucking with married men. Um, but that's a narrative that's easy to put okay. on someone like me. When Kenya needed a hairdress, I hooked up with my girl Tosh. We was always cool when I would see her out. I loved their show. I loved them together. And um, I have nothing to do with whatever the reason is for their divorce. Now, you should probably talk to them about the reason for their divorce. And also know, as adults, sometimes people break up, y'all, and it's not as scandalous as you want it to be. Mm. Sometimes people just break up and, you know, everyone was just so quick to just pile on Gary. Why don't you just, like, let it play out? Or just let it not play out. It's none of our business. It's none of our business. But all I came out here to tell y'all is that I have absolutely nothing to do with it. I do not have a friend in Dallas or anywhere else that is this man's mistress. I don't mm. know of any woman that's his mistress. Mm. I do not know what the hell y'all talking about. Okay, Shifty. Kenya, I will, um, I, Tosh has given you my number. You can call me and we can talk about it. And I'm, when Kenya needed it, and I'm, I'm, I'm really aggravated with you that you chose to go messy on a blog. She when don't give a fuck if you me. aggravated. Her husband I know me and you and is cheating tight. on her. I've known your husband long for a long time, and that's my boy. That's my buddy. We've we've um, presented at award shows together. He's you know in the comedy world. I used to work in the foxhole. 
and we're just cool like that. That's my boy. He's like everyone's buddy. And I don't know the details of y'all's divorce, but I know it has nothing to do with me and it has nothing to do with any of my girls. All my girls on here are in relationships or married. That's kind of what I always kind of revel in out here. Like I'm in a relationship two and a half years. We're together, we live together. Um, all my girls are married and, and, and you see us with the, the group trips all the time and the group outings. That's just the way it is out here. I don't have any single thotty friends out here that's just like tossing it up for, for married men. I don't. And I'm, I'm, I'm really... Okay, I did see somewhere else. There was another video. Let me see if I can find it. There is another video. Okay, let me put this down. I'm going to tell y'all, I listen, I don't know, but there is another video. Let me look on, on site of her having a conversation with some guy. The guy is there. I think he's a basketball player. Child, don't ask me. Don't ask me. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Let me put this back up. Here you go. Wait a minute. Here you go. Okay. I want y'all to hear this. I told um, KJ. This I is said, what I didn't like. Yeah. Look at her friend. Look at his I, um, face. I uh, helped Gary cheat on his wife. He said. KJ. I don't know who he, he is. Said, I think he's a basketball guys don't player. Need cheating. <laughs> this is true. Guys, guys don't need help to cheat. Cheating. But pay that, attention to what that, she said. Is that a proven fact? I think that's proven. And then when you're a celebrity, I think you need less help. But here's the thing, though. There's none of my friends that's doing this. Like, to, to, to put this. And I don't. I've never known him to be a cheater. I've never known him before. I remember when I first met him, I remember saying uh, uh, it was something along the lines of he, he didn't want to be caught with one person in the picture or something like that because he married and happily married. And, and it looks like. And it looked bad. It would look bad. This was like two years ago. So I, mm. I mean, I, I would never guess. It Not cheap. this. And, and he Listen. did all that in front of all of us. It was me, him, and like three or four women. I mean, I got the pictures. I'm glad you remember that because I forgot about that. But when I told him, okay, um, listen to this. AJ, I said, and and he was in town recently, and um, to this. I went and, and look at his look at KJ's like, face, and I brought my friend with me. Oh, okay. Because for that reason, he he didn't want to go. He was tired, so I was like, I'm gonna tell him. I'm gonna, this I'm gonna say my friend's name because they're gonna say it was her. I said, um, um, I'm gonna go meet my homie, meet him down the street, and my girl with me because I am in a relationship relationship too. Okay. And so, ma'am, like. I, I don't want to be seen with a look at his face. You know what it is with friends. Look at his face. Like, I'm always cautious about how that looks. I'll text one picture. We're all being respectful of how she looks. Like we're public figures. Like you know, if someone's <laughs> it comes, so it was like me, him, and my homie, and we're just talking, shooting the shit. And and he was look at his face. And I'm saying, I'm saying, look at his face, not on, oh, you went, you meant to meet Gary Owens. Why you, knowing him for all these years, couldn't go by yourself? Your man upstairs, he know where you going. His wife know y'all are friends. It's that extra buddy buddy shit that got you fucked up. You didn't need to bring the extra buddy buddy to, because I didn't want to go out with just me and him alone. You can go out with your homeboy, just you and him alone. It's that extra bitch you brought that got you in these problems right now. Okay? Listen. We're going to continue to watch this story and see what happens. But I don't think she hooked him up. But I think that that, situ that story she just mentioned, you saw her man face. That was her man, apparently. You saw his face. I think he used to play baseball. I mean, basketball. I'm not sure. But you saw his face. It was like when she got off a line, he probably told her that's probably what she's talking about. Because you didn't have to bring old girl. You bring an old girl, it looks hot. And I'm done. And as always, I hope you live your life like it's golden. Don't be out here being messy. We too grown to be messy, ma'ams. We too old for this shit. Come on, Claudia. You know better, sis.